his whereabouts. Actually, he's sitting in the airport in Chicago. Oh. Uh, we're very sorry. We yeah, planned it very carefully. Really he's sorry. He's twittering like mad. Sorry, Sharon. He's like twittering the bejesus out of this right now, you guys. So he would like to be here, but he's not. So if any of you see, I see somebody moving on with. <laughs> uh, so if any of you are not are here to see Jim Butcher and uh, Mary Janice and I are disappointed, <laughs> disappointments to you, you know, we won't be heard. <laughs> Actually, Charlene's so modest because she's like, well, I can clear this room out in just a minute. One. And I'm like, yeah, sure, Charlene. <laughs> and in our tea conference, all these people are going to get up and leave because, uh, well, you go ahead and uh, <laughs> you clear the room. <laughs> the thing is, we don't know what we're supposed to talk about. <laughs> um, that's good for you guys. <laughs> that's right. No telling what might come out. Uh, this is supposed to be a conversation with us. <laughs> oh, really? We're supposed to talk about TVs? Help us. <laughs>
use this to illustrate that, I mean, Charlie is, was essentially winning the lottery. A lot of us dream about publication. I never dreamed beyond that. So I've, everything that's happened since I signed that first contract has been gravy for me. But to get wonderful books, to have them do so well, so that somebody makes a show out of them, that's the lottery's lottery lottery. And when all this is happening, instead of thinking about herself, Charlene's first thought was for you guys, for her readers. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're all very nice, but my first thought is never of you guys. <laughs>